Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lacquer Lover, and today I am going to be swatching the SD Summer 2020 collection. Yes, we are swatching it in 2022, two years later, but this is such a lovely collection that I just had to get my hands on it and share it with you guys. And I mean, there is no harm or shame in sharing an older collection just because it's older, just because the polishes have come out for some time doesn't mean that they have gone out of style or that they don't look great anymore. They are just colors after all. And once you get them on your nails, you won't even know what collection they are. You'll just know them for the colors. So yes, we we have some lovely colors here like we have some bright cooler shades and then we have some warmer kind of toastier shades that I'm really excited to get into so we'll just get into the swatches first I'm applying base coat any will do as long as it protects your natural nails and prevents staining and you'll definitely need this for some of the more pigmented colors in this collection the first polish is called spice it up which is a bright kind of creamier red some reds are more on the curly side but this one has such a beautifully buttery smooth formula and it is very opaque and so you can see that it's almost a one coater although when it dried it did get slightly darker and revealed more of the nail line so I did have to go in with a second coat to cover that up but it was absolutely amazing and just such an easy polish to work with so that is two coats of spice it up and I think this is a great red for the summer or for the holiday season I think it's just so cheery and bright it's definitely just a fun one to have on your nails and such a classic color as well Next polish is called Soak Up The Sun and this is another creme that is in a dusty orange creamsicle shade. This one is also a little corally and that is sadly my least favorite type of orange. I like my oranges to be more on the Crayola crayon type of scale and just to be brighter especially in the summertime. This one is a little bit too muted for my liking, so it might be more fitted for the fall time. I could definitely see someone using it for like jack-o'-lantern nail art, but yeah, this one is kind of a puzzling piece or part of this collection. Next polish is called Caftan, and I am not sure why this is showing up slightly greenish orange in this bottle shot here, but it is a maybe burnt orange light tan shade it's really hard to describe it's yeah it's a very warm orangey shade that is brown at the same time so i am just going in with a second coat here and that was able to build it up to full opacity so again super easy to work with but just kind of really hard for the camera to pick up for whatever reason i think that the swatch photo here really shows you what the color looks like in person which is a really nice again toasty shade for the fall time not really sure why it was in the summer collection but it is what it is and i think it's still a nice polish that you can use for another time of the year next polish is called worth the tassel and this is a slightly just very slightly blue toned purple it is mostly just a regular pretty neutral light purple shade but i do feel like it leans slightly more on the blue side so here it is in its first coat it's actually such a gorgeous color i didn't have any purple that was exactly like this one so i was so excited to have it in my collection it's actually this polish and buzzling bazaar which i'll show right after this one that caught my attention and really made me want to purchase this collection this many years later so yes this did not disappoint and i really like it this polish is called Buzzling Bazaar and this is an aqua creme polish for the summer and it is so gorgeous. It reminds me of glistening water in the summer sun and it's so, so good. This is just an amazing color to have on in the summertime. Although I do have to say the one caveat is that the formula is not as good as I expected it to be. Like it's pretty sheer, it's pretty squishy. I thought it was going to be a lot creamier, but maybe for you know bright shades, it's how it is with neons as well. They kind of have to be sheer to allow the layers to build up and have all that brightness come through especially under the sun but still it was not that easy to work with it was definitely on the harder side of the formulas for this whole collection but i think the end result speaks for itself it's a really nice color 
It is a little bit darker than I thought it would be. I expected it to be brighter and lighter, but it's still a gorgeous shade and Essie needs to come out with more colors like this one. So I'm still grateful that they have this one and I definitely think that you need to pick it up if you like blues in the summer. The final polish in this collection is called Mosaic on Down and this is a champagne shimmer. So a champagne polish basically is kind of like a burnt gold I would describe it as and this formula wasn't that great. It was kind of like Buzzling Bazaar. I did need three coats and even then I feel like my nail line wasn't completely covered although because it is shimmery it is harder to notice so there is that and yeah so maybe you'll be able to kind of apply it sparsely over a base color and it would make for some fun nail art so there is that i give it to them for kind of having it a little bit uh, thinner i guess so that is three coats of mosaic on down this would honestly be a great color for the summer yes i give it to them for that and also for the winter time i think it would be a great one for the holiday season all right, that is my swatch and review of the Essie Summer 2020 collection. I actually have a very funny story of me buying this collection. I actually got it on eBay for like $20. It said that I was only getting one set and then it arrived and I got the store set. So I got like two sets of this collection plus the like plastic display that you'll see in stores and it's really wild but I'm just really happy that I have this collection now because I missed out on it and then I really wanted it so the expectations were definitely through the roof and I, I would say that my expectations were mostly met the colors are really nice and it's just that the formulas are kind of tricky they didn't dry down to what I expected them to be like because I do kind of see my nail line so you'll have to be careful with that but otherwise we have some really nice bright colors and then we have another half of the collection that is definitely toastier and more fitted for fall and winter which is not bad at all you'll just have a collection that spans the entire year and yeah i will link below where you can purchase this collection and i hope this video was helpful and entertaining and i will see you guys in my next one bye everyone